The oceans are a mysterious and vast place that is home to billions of creatures. Among these fascinating creatures are whales that have ruled the ocean since they evolved themselves and moved into the water. We know of almost 90 species of whales, and all of them have captivated our attention for their large sizes, great intellect, and infinite strength. But what if we have to pick the deadliest whale of them all? Will it be a blue whale or a killer whale? Well, none of them. The deadliest whale that ever existed is Liviatan melvilli, an extinct species of sperm whale. This name might be new to most people, so let's dive deep into the history of oceans and learn everything you need to know about the deadliest whale that ever existed. Liviatan melvilli existed 23 to 5.3 million years ago during the Miocene epoch. It was the first time that the ecosystem was warming up, more land was appearing from water, and forests were diversifying. While many marine animals were evolving themselves to land, Liviatan melvilli was getting better and better in the oceans. The species was named after the biblical sea monster Leviathan, and the author of Moby Dick, Herman Melville. Liviatan melvilli was 40 to 60 feet in length and weighed 40 to 50 tons, making it the biggest creature to have ever lived on the planet, equal to a modern sperm whale, if not bigger. The first ever fossil of Liviatan melvilli was discovered in 2008 in South America. This discovery opened new paths for the exploration of extinct whales and the evolution of this species. The whale had a giant head with a massive jaw that was full of sharp teeth. These teeth were longer than 14 inches and looked similar in some ways to the teeth of a shark. However, they were much bigger, and while sharks have mostly triangular-shaped teeth, Liviatan melvilli had cylindrical teeth. <laughs> Look at the size of those teeth! Liviatan probably hunted larger prey near the surface, such as other smaller whales. It used these big teeth to grasp, bite, and cut its prey into pieces. Considering the massive size, how did Liviatan melvilli catch its prey? Well, Liviatan was built as a predator from its head to its tail. Despite its big size, Liviatan had both power and speed. The tail of Liviatan melvilli, known as a fluke, had a streamlined shape that provided propulsion in the water. By moving its tail up and down, this mammal created enough pressure to move forward in the water. The streamlined shape must have minimized the drag, allowing the whale to move at full speed. Besides speed, the Liviatan whale also used its tail as self-defense, as well as to dodge the attacks of potential predators. Liviatan was an apex predator of its time, but was it deadlier than other ancient predators, like the most powerful ancient shark Megalodon? What would have been the results if Liviatan melvilli and Megalodon were involved in a battle? The accurate historical period of Liviatan melvilli is not confirmed. Scientists believe Liviatan and Megalodon lived at two different times. So, let's consider their abilities and make an assumption for the battle. Both Liviatan melvilli and Megalodon were built similarly in many ways. Megalodon could grow up to 60 feet in length, just like the whale. Both had massive jaws and a set of deadly teeth, and both could have powerful senses such as echolocation to locate their prey. However, Liviatan was swifter and smarter than Megalodon. Intelligence can always play a great role in battle. But again, Liviatan melvilli would have to come to the surface for air, which is the area of the shark. On the surface of the water, Liviatan has no chance of winning. So, the outcome of this battle would entirely depend on the circumstances in which these predators would face off. So, the ancient whales were considered the biggest and most powerful predators, and it must have ruled the oceans for quite a long time. But how did such well-adapted giant creatures go extinct? Scientists believe that the Libyatan whale did not go extinct because of one, but multiple factors. They assume that sudden changes on the Earth during the Miocene epoch changed the entire habitats, making it difficult for many species to survive. Secondly, many other mammals, such as seals and dolphins, evolved according to their habitat, and competition increased a lot. 
Some even believed that Livia Tan Melvilli must have been hunted by some other predators, such as humans, that caused the extinction of this giant whale. Whatever the reason was, one fact is obvious. If Livia Tan Melvilli had been alive today, they would have been the crowned king of the oceans. What are your thoughts on it? Let us know in the comments section. This is it for today. Until next time!